Today on Play Display, we'll be reviewing the Honky Tonk Man from Mattel's WWE Basic Line. Here we go. So usually I don't buy uh, Mattel Basics um, WWE figures. Why did I get the Honky Tonk Man? Well, I, I, let me explain myself, okay? Um, I only get Mattel Basics for a few reasons. One, if I need the figure, my fig fed back there. Um, two, if I'm a big fan of them. And obviously enough, I am a big fan of the Honky Tonk Man. Uh, it's kind of hard to bring up because everybody thinks of him more as a jobber. I mean, he was the longest reign Intercontinental Champion of all time. I don't think he was the best inter Intercontinental Champion of all time. Uh, people held the belt much better than he did, though. Why did I like the Honky Tonk Man growing up as a kid? Well, a lot of it's got to do with uh, the sign of the sign of the times and my family. My family loved wrestling growing up, and uh, my grandpa Keith's not really my grandpa Keith, but I always call him Grandpa Keith. God rest his soul. Always remind me of the Honky Tonk Man because they had the same haircut as Elvis Presley did. He liked Elvis Presley, and he kind of liked the Honky Tonk Man a little bit, though. The best thing about him, though, in the '80s was that he could sell. And he could run his mouth all day long. And I like that not only just in wrestling, but even sometimes people in real life. I don't care if people run their mouths about themselves. I think most people should um, build up their confidence in every, any which way that makes them feel good, though. Don't be toxic about it, but in wrestling, anything's off limits, man. He would just run his mouth. Even when he lost the Intercontinental Championship, the, the Ultimate Warrior, uh, the promo he did afterwards about losing the belt was, was, was classic, though. So he is one of my favorite wrestlers of the 80s. And one last thing, not too many figures with him. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. So nothing too special with the packaging, though. The biggest thing, though, I guess there's new articulation in 2024. So other than that, though, you don't get the, the robe that comes with it, though, that matches on the side here. On the back, better picture the Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> Oh my man, I hope he doesn't watch this man. I, I don't mean to talk so much trash about him, but uh, he is one of my favorites, no joke though. But uh, long story short though, finish move, shake around and roll. And down below, a couple of wrestlers are also in the basic line right now. The Hulk Hogan one doesn't look half bad, but there's a ton of his figures right now that kind of mark his early years in wrestling, and I don't need any more. Uh, the Undertaker, Charlotte Flair, and Top Nala. So let's go. My first impressions of the Honky Tonk Man. On the basic line is it's it's half the price of what you could pay for legends i did get the wwe legends versions of this uh the head sculpt doesn't look right at all he's he doesn't look right at all man just look at that <laughs> now they got the hair right don't get me wrong all right so the hair's right but the the face is kind of i don't know it's uh i don't i don't know just but the hair the, head, the hair does look pretty good and all in all though the body, though, does, I don't know, it's, the tights are similar. I wish they would have thrown in the robe, I mean, or maybe make it all plastic one piece. That'd be really rad. it would be really cool if they would just give him a guitar because they do have two hands here. You got a closed fist on one side for punching. That's his left hand. I can't remember if he's left hand or right hand, but I think in wrestling, uh, whenever you start to move like a hip toss or something, I think you have to use your dominant hand or your right hand. So this one right here, you got good for grappling, though. But I'm pretty sure I can pop these hands out. I got shake, rattle, and roll, baby, on the back. It's finishing move right there. Used to practice that one in school. Now his boots, they're not too bad. I mean, all in all, he's a very Toyota figure, and I figure he's a little bit underdone in this, but all in all, not too bad. All right, so now we got the Honky Tonk Man in the ring. Let's go ahead and see what kind of articulation we can get out of him. The head does have pretty decent movement on it, though. Doesn't. Ah, moves pretty well. Uh, the shoulders, not too bad. Elbow, wrist, and joint. The legs, man. Oh, I gotta put like a heat, not a heater, but a hair dryer on this thing because these things are stiff, though. So you got movement in the knees, the feet here. The standability so far has been pretty decent here. The ring. Yeah. All right, let's see what the Hulk Tonk Man knocked down Hulk Hogan here. Yeah. Oh no, man! Looks like the Honky Tonk Man put the Hulk star in a hold. Also, looks pretty scared, man. I hope he can break out. The Hog Tonk Man celebrating like he just won. Like Hulk Hogan just passed out from it. And the Hawks is on the mat. He's not responding, folks. What's this? The Hawks are on the big feet. And he gets up. I've never seen this before, folks. 
The Honky Tonk Man better look behind him. She hasn't won yet, and that Hulkster looks fast. Hogan picks up the Honky Tonk Man, and he's about ready to throw him down. The and the Honky Tonk Man is looking troubled after that big body slam from Hogan. Uh oh, what's next? Is Hogan going against the ropes for that big leg drop? And Hogan comes down on the Honky Tonk Man. And Hogan goes for the cover. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, Honky Tonk Man is eliminated, and Hulk Hogan is your winner. A packed crowd tonight with Steve Rogers as Captain America, Destro, Daredevil, Iron Man, Sabretooth, and Jitsu. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor calling this match. All right, guys, so my final review for the Honky Tonk Man from Mattel's uh, WWE basic line is this. I didn't come in here expecting greatness out of this figure. It's a $10 figure you can buy at Walmart. Um, the only thing though, it does have that basic feel and look to it though. Um, the cool, th good part so is the hair was done right though. I mean, the little pompadour thing with the hair thing up in the middle, that reminds me of pure honky though. The face, not so much. It's got, it's, it's got kind of a little, it's kind of almost kind of like dirt face for a little bit though. The rest of the body is just really simple uh, stuff you're going to get from the, the basic line though. I do like the little detail for the guitars on the, on the gear, especially on the back here for shake, rattle, and roll. The boots feel, feel re really, really cheap, though. They just don't really feel right, though. Uh, for the most part, though, uh, for this figure, and I got to grade it against what an Elite would be or a Legends. And I would have to say this one gets a 7 out of 10. And that's real basic, real average, but it's not bad. So, but it's not great either. So, now for the articulation. Pretty decent, though, for a budget figure, though. Uh, I was able to have a full wrestle match against Hulk Hogan with it, though. I kind of record some of the better parts of it, though. But all in all, knees are super stiff, though. Uh, what I do is I take a hair dryer and I kind of run it on there, rub it, run it back and forth before, so it becomes more flexible, just mostly for kicks and make it look like it's kind of running. Like I said before, this figure is going to be in a fig fed, so it does have to pose with the other figure. So so it's not a Legends. It's not a Lee. It doesn't have that much articulation, but it will get the job done. Um... That being said, though, uh, I'm going to have to give this one an 8 out of 10. I don't know what the they did for the new articulation 2024, but to wrestle with, it, it gets the job done. Now, for the fun factor, if you're watching this and you are a Honky Tonk Man fan, this is not a Honky Tonk Man fan. I just said that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Long story short, though, this is a good buy for, for the price you pay. There is a Chase variant, though. I'll go ahead and leave a picture of it here. It's just a blue pant version of it, so it's probably... Might be worth a little bit though, but if you're a honky tonk uh, fan and you are a collector of WWE figures, you know these things are few and far between. The Legends one that came out earlier, I would pick this one up over that. But for the fun factor, the fact that I can wrestle with it in my fig fed, um, has to go up there pretty high. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10, mostly because I like a lot of the 80s wrestlers. He's not that relevant for most 90s wrestlers or 2000s wrestlers. So he might have a place in the future, who knows, but he's got definitely got a home in the past.